providing an office space in Lagos. <laughs> this was our own version of the ultimate search. It is so difficult to find a good place in Lagos. We had to scour the whole of the state. Okay, we didn't scour the whole of the state, but we had to search deep and for quite some time. To the point that we even almost lost hope. But you see, nothing is impossible if only you believe. So to find a good place, we did a lot of searching on property listing websites. It was just to find a base pricing and connect us to a good um, agent. And one common thing that we noticed with a lot of these agents is that they tend to start from the bottom. And when I mean the bottom, I mean the worst. So they start from the least desirable place and walk their way up to the place that they know that yes, you will go for. By the time you, they, you uh, go from this place to that place and you're pretty much worn out and tired and they show you this amazing place that is exactly what you dreamed of, they will now be like, hey, oh God, this place is a uh, little above your budget, but uh, you, you, can, you can stretch a bit, you can stretch a bit, and I'm sure God will help you, God will help you. So tempted to let your guard down and just settle for this awesome deal that wasn't originally your plan or your budget. What I would advise is stay strong because there will be something good that is still within your budget. So stay strong and resist the odd, resist the temptation to go for that. So we're able to find somewhere good, somewhere decent, but the main emphasis of this video is to share the key things that we used to vet where we were going to move to. So here are six things that were on our checklist while we were looking for a decent place. First thing is parking. Now the, the space that you are moving into needs to at least allow you and your team to be able to park their vehicles. Not a place where you end up parking your cars along the road. So yeah, take note of it and be sure that the place you are going to has ample or sufficient parking space. Number two, power supply. This is 50-50 because some business have totally decided to not rely on our power distribution companies because of how unreliable they have proven to be. So they tend to rely on generating their own power. But yes, power supply is a very important point. And even more to the point, the fact that the place should have prepaid meters already installed. Do not listen to them if they say that they will install it for you after you move in. Because after you move in, they hands off and leave you to your fate. So yes, be sure that everything is taken care of before you hand over money to the agent or the landlord. Number three, water supply. You need to be sure that your place comes with water supply, especially in this era where there is the coronavirus and um, different, you know, just for good hygiene. Like, how can you not have running water? So yeah, the place needs to have working water supply, pumping machine, a water storage unit, pipes that work, faucets, toilet bowls that function. So yeah, be sure that you do have water supply. Number four is the number of rooms. So the number of rooms is determined pretty much by how much space you require. So whether you need a five room apartment or you need a three room, two room or one room, whatever it is that you need should determine the number of rooms of the office that you're getting. And of course that is going to affect the price. So yes, the final and most important point is you guessed it, the landlord. You need to have a landlord who is just somebody who is not going to be in your face all the time. Because a problem for creative types or not even just creative types, for business in general, you need freedom. 
you shouldn't be managing a situation where you are restricted rules like don't put any nails on the wall don't install acs i want this particular color alone it almost like defeats the point of moving to a different place so be sure that before you move into the place you have at least some sort of interaction with the landlord let's know what the rules what the restrictions if any are going to be so that you do not have any clashes with your landlord so yeah these are the things that you need to put into consideration when looking for an office space thank you so much for watching this video um it has not been easy being consistent for you guys i'm, I'm actually saying that about you i applaud your consistency in watching this week in week out if you have any experiences with uh, finding a place finding an apartment that you would like to share please drop that in the comment section watch out for the next video where of course i'll be saying something very 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 valuable and um follow me on twitter follow me on instagram follow me on facebook and um follow the shots media page there is something big coming there's something big coming get you guys behind the curtain to know what we have been up to for the for the past first quarter of this year so please 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 follow us on instagram on twitter at shocks media yeah see you guys on the next one people have been learning it doesn't barely happen <laughs> no, that part is not going to be in the video <laughs> because because